Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about approvals. So in a lot of cases, you have documents that need to be approved before they're published. And of course, you can put those documents in the regular documents library, but all the settings for a document library are the same, or actually most of the settings are the same. So when it comes to approvals, I recommend that you create a new app for handling those. And a new app, of course, will be a new document library. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm going to create a new document library for our procedures. And our procedures, of course, do need approval before they're published or before they're readable to anyone. So I'm going to go into the procedures now and go into the settings of that. First of all, I'm going to make sure that it's under the navigation so it stays there all the time. And then I'm going to go into the section for versioning settings. There I have require content approval for submitted items. I'm going to put that to yes. And I'm just going to point out some other settings. You can have a minor and major draft versions. That is another setting you, that you have. So if you enable that setting to create major and minor versions, then you need to publish the file and actually do that before you can approve it. So I'm going to leave that one out now. I'm also going to show here that the default setting for draft item security, that is items that are not yet approved, those will only be visible to users who can approve them and the author of the item. That's the default one. So these are the different settings for approval, but I'm just going to change the one thing now. I'm going to enable require content approval. So I'm going to click on yes there, and then I'm going to go in and create a new procedure. And it's going to be a Word document. So let's just rename that from documents to visits, for example. Visits should be announced. That's the procedure. All right, so we're going to go out here uh, to the procedures library. And now you'll see in the view here that you have the approval status pending. So that column was added automatically when I enabled approvals for this document library. So now you see I'm logged in as myself, Peter Kelmstrom. And if I go out here to my Chrome browser, you'll see I'm logged in as Antonio Marino. I'll refresh and see that the procedures are there. But as you see, I don't see any procedures. See, when I'm logged in as Antonio, I don't see any uh, procedures yet because they're not approved. Now, when I go in and approve this, under here, more and approve reject, then I can approve this. And now it's approved. When I go out to my Chrome browser as Antonio and refresh this, you'll see that I can see the document. So that's the basics of approval. Thank you for watching this demonstration. In further demos, I'll go through how you can modify this and play around with it a bit more. But those are the basics. Thank you for watching.